Hmm. Hmm. Okay, right. Come on. Right, we'll, we'll head out then. Try and make it to Klamath. I think if I talk to the guy on the bridge, he can help me um, sharpen my spear. I think. chosen one off to find the gack yes yes but before I go I'd like to ask you some questions uh, oh yes but I was wondering about your spirit it looks a little different my father taught me how to make stronger blades than most get me a piece of flint and I'll fix your spear too you'll need it in the wilderness where would I get some of this flint they say your aunt Morales has been hoarding a piece she's so ill-tempered I don't think anyone's asked her of course the witch will want something in return. Thanks, goodbye. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look in there, see if there's no use. Have a look in the pot. Nothing of use. Oh, I know. I remember what she wanted. She wanted some bloody healing powder. Right, well, I've got probably enough. I hope she... she I think she wanted four, though, so I want to see. Hmm. Three doses of bad times. Oh, wow. Alright, there you go. So I now have a piece of flint. Stone used to sharpen weapons, it weighs two pounds. Awesome. So we'll take that, take that to the guy on the bridge. And then he can sharpen one of our spears. Did you talk your aunt out of her flint? Yes, I have some right here. It's a good piece, give me a spear. There you go. Now you put the pieces like so. Okay. Thank you, my friend. This will help a lot. So let's have a look now. So we've got a uh, sharpened spear. Right. Cool. So, uh, so that does 4 to 13 damage. As you can see, here, it's got a range of two. And the other one does uh, three to eleven. Right, so it does a little bit more damage. Right, so that's four to thirteen. That would do three to. Right, so basically, yeah, uh, it does. Um, it does one minimum damage and two um, maximum damage more than the other spear. That's cool. Right. Okay, Kooky. Right, I think we've just about done it. So, let's save this again. We'll save it on the second one. And we will head out. And that will probably be the last time we come to the village. So, with any luck. We will make it to the village of Klamath oh. unmolested. Shall see. So basically this is the map. Quite a big map really I guess. Oh, looks like we're lucky got there. Whoa. 
There we go. That's Klamath. There's a lot to do here. There's also a lot to pilfer <laughs> as well. But that uh, does piss off the local sort of people, but you know, it's just the way it is, isn't it? Right. Go and have a chat with a few people. You see a very large man covered in dust with a small smile and a blank look on his face. Me Tor. Nice to meet you Tor. Anything interesting happening lately? Bugman take moo moos at night. Tor scared. Help Tor. Sh uh, sure Tor, I can help you get out the Baron. Um, I can't shaking head at Tor help you with that goodbye so we'll, we'll wait for a moment because Oh, he's not going to kick me, he's not going to play it fire me, is he? Hopefully not. Hello there, I haven't seen you in Klamath before. I'm Aldo, the town greeter. Hick, it's my job to greet anyone new in town and to answer my... Hold on. And to answer any questions they might have about our bucolic little burg. Welcome to Klamath. Hick, who might you be? Uh, uh, thanks for the greeting, I'm just a traveller. Or you can say my name's Angel, thanks for welcoming me here. Um, my name's Angel of Aroa, I'm the chosen one. Uh, it says you don't need to know anything about me. Oh, you know, sorry, you don't need to know my name or anything about me. Go away, you filthy drunkard. Excuse me, God. I don't think a town like Klamath would have a drunk like you as a greeter or anything else. So I'm just going to say thanks, I'm just a traveller. Well stranger, since you're hick new to these parts, you probably don't er, know that it's customary to tip the town greeter before asking any questions of tip. So, I mean, hopefully you can read this, it says, here's a tip for you, stay away from the booze for a while. A tip, hum, well I guess it's worth five dollars to get you off my back. Well, I wouldn't want to go against custom. Is five dollars enough? And it says you should give me a tip, just so I won't take the time to rid Klamath of your filthy hide. Sorry, I can't spare him money. So, do you know what? I might give him five dollars. Um, thanks for money, friend. Oop, I'm going to use it to get some medicine for my dry throat consider yourself officially greeted to the town of Klamath do you have any questions about our metro metropolis let's have a look trader who trades such old stuff is Vic Vic where can I find Vic well out of I haven't seen Vic for a while I don't rightly know where am I ever off anyway I'm hoping you can read this because I'm, I'm not going to read the whole freaking lot so, anyway, I mean, I guess what I could do is save it, go back to the beginning, and sort of just boost it again, so you can read it yourselves. Because, you know, it's going to take a while to read this, seriously. So, right, let's save that there. In the second one again, I think. Right, oh, no, no, I'll save it the first one, actually. Or should I save it in the third? No, I'll save it in the third. No, actually, let's make a new one. Uh, let's make a new one for Klamath. Oh dear. Right, now I am going to just exit the game very quickly. I'll still keep it on though. Right, options, screen settings. So what we're going to do is uh, panel scaling. Right, so we'll have it to fit, I think, movies. And then splash help. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it on fit. That'll probably be all right. I think that'll probably be all right. Okay, so we'll do a done on that one. I think we'll load the game. Oh, Plymouth. Hopefully that should be better. Let's try it. Oh, it's still not done it. Hey there, friends. Uh, can you spare somebody? Uh, hmm, okay. 
whatever, mate, whatever. Right, let's go, uh, oh god, hold on, preferences, no, we need to exit the game, oh, this is not good, but, but it needs to be done, it's a necessary evil, so I can sort out my screen settings. Right, movies, panel scaling, fit, fit, or full, should I just put it at bloody full and yeah, I'd be done with it? I think windowed. Do I want? Oh, I don't want it windowed. Oh, right, it was on full screen windowed for some reason. I don't want it windowed. That should give me a full screen now. Oh, there we go. Right, perfect. Right, so let's try that again. Try our cloth. Right. No, it's still, it's still small, but it doesn't matter. It'll have to do. I'm not going to read it. I'm hoping you can read it. <sighs> yeah, well, I can read it, so I'll try and boost it or something during the uh, recordings. Yeah, so there we go. Right, let's go and do a bit of pilfering around, whatever else. I think. I think one of these places is uh, Vix anyway. Oh, I'll take a little bit of looking. See. What you want to do is try and look around uh, the place because there's like, um, you know, there's various things you can find. Like sometimes you'll find books on the floor and, you know, in, in the lavies and stuff like that. It's best just to have a look around. Is that locked? You see a wooden door. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, I can have a good pill for around, I think. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Right, so there's a game in this called... Is it called Magic the Gathering? Tragic. Tragic the Gathering or something like that. It's like Magic the Gathering. I, do you know what? I never learned how to play it, to be honest. Right, anyway, I think the best thing we can do is go and sell these things at the... I think we can sell them at the Traders, which is somewhere here. One of these, anyway. I'll go and have a look. And then I'll come back and grab that stuff. Oh no, this is different. This is two dodgy brothers. Oh, there you go, he's a trader. Hello there, a stranger. Welcome to the Golden Gecko Tavern. Hotel and trading post. I'm... Sad Jag, I run the place. What can I get for you? Uh, let's have a look now. It says, I'll have a drink. I'd like to buy a round of drinks for the whole bar to introduce myself. I'd like to trade. I'd like a room for the night. Let's, let's try trading first. I've got all kinds of things right here, kid. Healing supplies, booze, all kinds of stuff. I've got special sources, you might say. Always willing to look at a good gecko pelt too. So let me have a look and see what you got. So there we go. I've got a ten millimeter pistol, and we've got some leather armor, which might be useful. So we're going to sell these anyway. Don't know how much they're worth. Sixty dollars. So they're basically worth ten dollars each. So we'll. Uh, can we sell those? They're not worth shit. No mind. We'll sell them anyway. I think I think that worth. I think the spear's worth something. Oh yeah, that's worth uh, work still. Yeah, that's not the good spear, so we'll sell that. So that's 140. Um. I wonder how much that is. Sixteen <gasps> eighty. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. That's a good trade. Oh no. Hold on. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Oh no. I fucked up. I have fucked up because. Oh <sighs> shit. No. <laughs> uh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Uh, uh, I, I've just traded all of that for, for no money. I forgot how to do this game. Oh my god, seriously. 
Oh well, let's reload again. Fair enough. Right. That was really silly of me. Right, so basically you've got to put something of worth in the other side. Gee, I completely forgot. I mean, I haven't played this game for God knows how many years, so there you go. Right, let's trade. Let's see what you got. Right, so basically uh, I trade all of those. Right, and then I go down here to his money. Uh, I can trade it for 60. It might say no, you see, because it might think, oh, I don't want to bloody six red scorpion stingers so you can offer that okay that's a good trade oh there you go then so i made a bit of extra cash so what we'll do is now because of that uh well, I need to come out of that. right so what we'll do is we'll go back to that building and we'll pull for the locker get all of the booze and god knows whatever else out of there and then we can come back and sell it and make a bit more money let's take it all I don't know, I don't know if there's anything else worth it That's, I think that that door is locked, I think. Oh, that's not. That's good. Search shells. Oh, look. Oh, pipe gun. I saw some. Had an old broken down radio. Even better. Let's take all that. So, this is Vic's stuff, right? Well, it was Vic's stuff. It's mine. <laughs> it's mine now. So we'll go back to the um, this trader and sell him some more crap. <laughs> I might try and buy some more ammo to be honest. I'd like to trade. Right. Because a pipe guy, ain't it? it's not amazing, but it'll do. So he's selling one anyway. Um. So you've got throwing knives, you've got a machete, a leather jacket. What's that worth? 600. I can't, I can't afford that yet. That's how much I have. 180 for the 20 bullets. I might. Um, 40. 43. Uh, that one's the work still on, so, oops, uh. Oh, where's that gone? What happened to that? Did I just drop it? Oh, I fucking dropped it. <sighs> right, um. I think I just dropped it, right, taught that. Right, I need to. I should have just dropped it. Um, yeah, I did. Let's pick that up. I need to pick my spear up. Thank you. You sure chose the wrong place to drink. I should sure have thought we were. Right, so let's. Right. I want to do a spear and that. Keep the radio. Let's fix the radio. So nice. It's crap, aren't we? Right? right. So now we want that. It's 180. So if we, where the hell's the spear? Did I put the spear in there? Oh, I did. Alright, so we need to add another um, 
I'll just get the the rounds, which are going to be useful anyway. Right, let's try that. Okay, cool. Right, so now we've got pipe rifle. Uh, round of piss with the whole bar. Everyone here is drinking lizard piss. Relax, part is just what you're, the beer is called. This is the golden gag. Oh, right, oh, okay. Settlements nearby. A couple of settlements nearby. There are some tribals northwest of us, but I suppose you know about them. Smiles. Then there's the Dan, uh, a few days south of here. That's the closest. And there's a mining town called Reading, quite a ways to the southwest. Thanks. I have another question for you. Um, any traders? Oh no, hold on, no, I've done that. Um, anything unusual going on in Klamath? Well, let's see. All sorts of things going in town lately. Counts on his fingers. There's a Brahmin mutating... No, Brahmin mutilating bugman. Rodents of unusual size. A walking spirit and a missing hunter. Klamath's become a real hotspot lately. So tell me about the Brahmin, Brahmin mutilating bugman, please. Well, they say critters that look like man-sized bugs walking around on two legs are tearing open Brahmin in the middle of the night. Only tours caught a good look at them. Scary, huh? That's incredible. Tell me about the local news. Tell me about the rust. What's that? Some of the giant rats side of a Corvega that rules over all the rats over in Trapper Town. They say that it lives in an old mine underneath Trapper Town and that... And that all the other rats bring its shiny objects that they find. Licks his lips. Mmm, shiny baubles. <laughs> That's incredible. Tell me more, my local news. Uh, okay, tell me about the walking spirit. Some have heard a weird swearing sound. Oh, well, I know what that is. Right. Yeah, I know what that is. So, alright, we'll save that here. Uh, yeah, I'll save it. Cloud, mm, I guess. Oh no, I'll tell you what, we'll make it another, make it another save. Glamour. Can't spell. Glamour. Do. I'll do for now. Right, so what I want to do is change. I'm going to put that into the second one. See, that's 5 to 12 damage, range 20. And then what you have to do is load it. Up. There you go. It's loaded now. And that is... What's the damage? Like 4 AP. Alright, okay. So we'll go and have a... Uh, we'll go and have a look up here. I think 